Hello guys, Janus here and today I'm going to discuss about the 5 star net server named as the Fire Archangel or Vela Huel, right? Or Vela Zuel, whatever it is. Uh, he's a fire unit, he's a melee DPS servant and he has an HP of 8745, attack is 665, defense 803, that's a lot of defense, speed 103. So pretty impressive stats, huh? So before starting this video, guys, I would really love to recommend you guys to subscribe to my channel to keep on enjoying the contents like this. And again, please leave your views and opinions in the comment section below because they really matter a lot to me. And now, let's get this started. First skill, known as the Heavenly Sword, okay? Attacks enemies with the Heavenly Sword. So you really need to notice in this thing that like this skill is a AoE attacking skill, okay? So it's really great, especially in the PvP battles, okay? Uh, you will be able to deal a lot of damage uh, to all the all the opponents, not just one opponent. Because especially in PvP battles, the tanks are the one who are, who is absorbing all the damage, right? But if you are already dealing the AoE damage, then tank is kind of useless. <laughs> you know like this kind of skill just makes the tank characters useless okay deals damage based on defense 70 percent chance to decrease enemy defense for 30 seconds that is pretty awesome okay uh cliche but awesome indeed next one is the punishment summons a punishing tornado to attack enemies deals damage based on defense you also need to notice that it's also a aoe attack and deals the damage based on defense. So higher the defense you have, the more damage you are going to deal. Increases caster's defense for 60 seconds while level 5. Meaning he's going to be more harder and then he is going to hit harder. Okay. More hard and hit hard. Damn. Next one is the Archangel Sword. The final combo skill. Okay. It is also AoE attack and it is very deadly in the PvP battles and infinite PvP. Oh my god. You know why? Because it just ignores the tank. Obviously, the tank will also get, get, you know, like receive the damage, but with the tank, you know, the soft, squishy support and the uh, DPS servants are also gonna get smashed with this combo skill. So he is gonna rule in the PvP battles, okay? Uh, damage. Uh, Deals damage based on defense, increases skill gauge of all allies by 20%. Oh my god, oh my. Damn, that's a lot. Okay, 20% skill gauge refill, man. Just right like that, he is gonna be ready for the another, another <laughs> combo skill in no time. Okay, and uh, guess what? In the passive, it's gonna get a little bit more, even more interesting. Okay, so in the passive skill, becomes immune to defense down that should be given to a defense based servant right grants immunity to all allies for 10 seconds when a skill lands as a critical hit so whenever he is using his first skill or second skill then it lands as a critical hit then yes he is gonna grant immunity to all allies with immunity no debuff can touch you so you will be very resilient okay that's really great guys especially if you are fighting against the uh characters okay or let's say these opponents that is really good at silencing you putting debuffs on you then this can be a this can be a blessing guys and with his chain effect if an ally a sphinx is present defense increases by 100 percent meaning obviously he's gonna deal more damage and guess what guys water a sphinx is one of the best top tier support servant in this game so try to Pair him up with the Water A Sphinx. He's gonna deal a lot of damage more frequently because Water A Sphinx uh, increase the uh, combo skill gauge of the DPS servant whenever the tanks are hit. So this is really great, guys. He is gonna be charging really fast and he's gonna deal the damage more often. Okay, and damn, that's good. Increase damage by 100%. Wow, that's good. Next one is Team Passive. Defense of all element allies increases by 45% at the World Raid. Obviously at the World Raid, he's gonna have more damage. Yes, yes, yes. Now, going into the summary, Archangel, he is gonna dominate in the tiles and in the sanctuary. He is really good in the PvP. I mean, oh my god, he is gonna rule in the PvP actually. If you have this unit, rejoice because he is gonna dominate the pvp battles if you have this servant 
try to build him right away and dominate the PvP battles. Okay, in the tower defense, he's good. Abaddon, really good. World boss, legendary. With his team passive and so many other things going on. Oh my god, in the world boss, he's gonna smash that bosses. Okay, in the women's dungeon, he's gonna do well. In the hits dungeon, he's also gonna do well. Okay, so. You know, like, overall, he's a really awesome unit, guys. He is really, really awesome unit. You know, like, easily a SS tier unit, okay? Very good unit. If you have him, rejoice. You know, like, celebrate, celebrate. Okay, now let's get into the uh, equipment. What sort of equipment can we give to this wonderful unit? And what can be better than the all defense uh gears okay uh, obviously he's a defense best right or you can actually resort to the havoc and blade okay so havoc and blade will be the best one if you can actually uh, uh you know like reach to a critical hit rate of 100 percent then that would be good guys critical rate by 100 percent then the havoc and blade is the one for you or you can go with the all iron okay as a basic one like four irons and two blade or two irons and two blade okay i mean like one iron and two blade it really depends up, up to you guys but i would really prefer you guys to have the havoc and the blade okay havoc and the blade that will seal the deal for him Okay, and now uh, looking into the stats, obviously, uh, the weapon, the shirt, and the pants, they are having the primary stat as the flat stat, so no need to worry about them, but when it comes to the additional stats, you need to focus on the speed, defense percentage boost, critical rate boost, and the critical damage boost, okay? That's how you are gonna do it, okay? Don't focus on the attack percentage boost. It's not gonna really impact his uh, damage and damage output in whatsoever. When it comes to the gloves, obviously you have to go with the speed, okay? The more speed he has, the more he's gonna be more effective in the battle, okay? And when it comes to the helmet, you really have to go with the critical rate if you have very low critical rate chance, but if you have already uh, accumulated 100% crit rate by your additional stats then you can actually go with the critical damage okay no problem with that and the next one is the shoes in the shoes you can uh, go for the defense percentage boost guys defense percentage boost not the attack percentage boost okay defense percentage boost and when it comes to the necklace go with the speed boost okay as your primary stat and when it comes to the ring obviously you have to go with the critical damage okay critical damage boost and you are gonna deal a lot of damage guys a lot of damage and you need to also uh, uh, make sure that the critical hit is always present there because every critical hit he is gonna deal with is the skills he's gonna grant immunity to every ally in the game so that's really awesome guys really awesome this unit it's very awesome in the pvp content especially oh my god oh my i love this unit if i could have him i would have been really happy but i don't have him so oh well anyways guys this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and again guys please leave your views and opinions in the comment section below i would really love to communicate with you guys and see you guys in the next video